Has anybody ever had someone like that in your yeah, life? Yeah. That feels pretty good. But what about whenever that person or there's no one there to cheer you on and say, I believe in you. You can get back up. God has something big for you. Yeah. What do you do in that instance? One of the things that I say is, you know what? Sometimes you have to scrape yourself off the floor. That's it. Sometimes you will have to scrape yourself off the floor. And David had to get back up and forgive himself. And he read and he wrote Psalm 51. And I'm going to read this over you. And he said this in verse 10, Create in me a pure heart, O God. And restore a righteous yes. spirit within me, right? Yes. Yes. Do not cast me from your presence. Why? Because sin separates us from God. That's not a popular teaching in today's time, but sin separates us from God. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Please, Lord. Restore to me the joy, joy of your salvation. Yes. And grant me a willing spirit. Yes. A willing spirit. See, the Bible says if you are willing and oh, what? Obedient. obedient, what happens? You should eat the good of the land. All of us want to eat the good of the land, but it takes that willingness. Right, it takes right. That obedience. He says, in. Grant me a willing spirit in order to sustain me or to establish me. Mm -hmm. Then I will treat. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, yes. so that sinners will be brought back to you. Mm -hmm. David was now again victorious. Yes. 